Welcome back in sports. The second day of the Oceania Sports Education Program provided the master's educators the opportunity to take participants through the techniques of improving their pathway. Paul Tomic Jr. reports. One of the master educators, Jeffrey Gideon, has acknowledged the OSEP for delivering such an advanced training. There's a lot of new things, approaches in terms of uh, like uh, today's session, we, we are going as far, when you are reviewing a session to with the, um, firstly, you as a master educator, you have to work with an educator, and the educator works with a practitioner, which is the coach or administrator. Uh, all this process have to be reviewed, and uh, this morning session was one of the examples of uh, techniques of reviewing, how you uh, review with a participant, and uh, you can use their case and. Uh, have a process in uh, trying to work out a way forward in terms of uh, improving the uh, educator pathway. He said this is his first master educator training and he is learning new things. He said what they are going through is the skills to work with the educator, like doing the preview, doing assessments and giving instruction to the educator. How are you going to do assessment when you are um, trying to uh, uh, give uh, instruction to an educator, how are you going to review because in the process uh, there's a lot of uh, assessment that has to be completed for, because this is a competency based uh, training where you must work uh, to, towards a predetermined uh, standard. Gideon said this is the pathway for all the training where they are trying to set standards. Paul Tomic Jr., NBC National Sports, Port Mosby. Meanwhile, the master's educator today went through with the educators after two days of the Oceania Sports Education Program at the C. John Guy Stadium. Again, Paul Tomic Jr. reports. The educators' training conducted by the master educators included new skills to manage their associations. Participants included representatives from the national federations and some of the staff of the PNG Sports Foundation High Performance Unit and National Sports Institute. Team PNG's chef demission to the Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil next month, Emma Waiwai also attended. Special Olympics PNG representative Rose Lons also attended the training. Paul Tomic Jr., NBC National Sports, Port Mosby. Thank you. The new sports director for the BSP 7 PNG Games, John Sasuve, has revealed that since his appointment by the PNG Sports Foundation, he has set up office and is now based in Kimbe. Paul Tomic Jr. reports. Sasuve said him and his other two officers, including other casual officers, are all set with the work on the ground. He told reporters that with the close of entries, the largest number of athletes and officials which will attend the games are Team Morobe with about 700 plus athletes and officials. Uh, with me setting up the sports directorate desk, which we call the SSD for 7 PNG Games, I also have the competition manager, Mr. Philip Lavatu, who is also here attending this training as a master educator, and uh, also Raina Wareba will be educator training. So we are, there's three of us now based in Kimbe full time, and with us we have a, a team of about seven cash, four casuals working with us. So we have set up the office, we are working in consultation very closely with the West New Britain Hawk, the host organizing committee as well as the provincial administration. He said 8,000 plus officials and athletes will be attending the PNG Games and all provinces are also attending the games with the lowest number of athletes coming from Team West Civic. All in all, apart from what we're doing, it's a very good working with the provincial administration are looking towards hosting a very successful PNG Games. Susuve also said the 7th PNG Games is going to be a new one, setting the benchmark in terms of the new facilities, some of which are still going under construction. Paul Tomic Jr., NBC National Sports, Port Mosby. And that's sports for tonight. Antonia, it's back to you. Thank you, Douglas. Stay with us. We'll return after the break with the finance news.